Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm headed to Costco, so come along with me. The Family Fudge, The Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet, but full of nuts. So today's grocery haul is gonna be a little bit different because it's just me and my one-year-old. I do not have the whole family with me today. It's just the two of us. And that's because I wanna look at birthday presents and Christmas present ideas. Lily's birthday is in two weeks and I have got nothing planned, no presents purchased at all. So we have a lot to pick up today. I'm gonna to take you along with me and then when we get back home, I will show you everything that I picked up. Oh yes, and one more thing before I head out. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Costco hauls. Now let's get going. Hi Griffin! So we just made it to Costco and this guy slept the whole way so hopefully He's in a good mood now because he's kind of like a ticking time bomb in the store. I only have so much time and when we're done, he's done and we have to go. Are you ready to go? Yes. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention, I'm gonna really try my hardest not to break anything today or hurt myself. I don't know if you guys saw my last Costco haul where I injured my nose. It's looking much better, it's all healed, but I'm gonna try my best not to do that again. So let's head on in. It's not very crowded today, I love it. And look at all the fun Christmas decorations. I kind of love that star, that's awesome. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Uh oh, it's already getting grumpy and we don't have anything in the cart yet. Should we hurry? Yes. Look at this gorgeous lantern. This is $19.99. It comes with a little battery operated candle inside. That is so pretty. Check it out, you guys. We only have a few of these Disney toddler dolls left. I totally missed out on those. I was gonna come back and get the Belle and maybe the Elena and they are totally gone. Okay, we made it out of the store, and that was not relaxing at all, because this guy decided to be grumpy, but we got everything that we needed and a few extra things. We'll head home, and then we'll show you what we got. So right about now is when I start kicking myself for forgetting to take the stroller out of the back of the car. Where am I gonna put all this stuff? We shall see. Okay guys, so I just made it back home. I ended up going to both Costco and to Trader Joe's. At Costco, I spent about $330, and at Trader Joe's, I think it came to about $50. So, kind of expensive, but we needed a lot of things, and we did buy a lot of non-food items as well, including a box of diapers, which wouldn't fit up here, but you know how expensive those are. Now, as far as toys, I ended up picking up only three, because a lot of the ones that I was hoping to find were actually sold out already. So, if you're looking for Costco toys, don't hesitate. So, for Lily's birthday, I picked up two things. First up, we have the Shimmer and Shine Magnetic Dress-Up Doll Kit. And then there's this Genie and Friends Collection. This is such a cute show and she's a big fan. And then this guy is not actually for us. Mackenzie was invited to a birthday party, so I picked up this string art craft kit. This was really cute, only $15.99, and it comes with everything you need to make nine different projects. Back behind here, we got a big thing of TP. We go through one of these just about every month. And then the Ziploc bags. I really hated to buy these when they were not on sale, but we really needed them. Under here, I picked up some makeup removing towelettes. Moving over here, 
I got a big box of the emergency, some bananas, some riced cauliflower. This was marked down to $1.97, so that's a really good deal for this big bag, and it's organic. I got some eggs for making hard boiled eggs, an egg salad. I got a big bag of these sugar snap peas. Hopefully the kids will like these. And as usual, a big bag of broccoli. And then my favorite, this Asian cashew chopped salad. Now we'll probably have this for dinner tonight with our rotisserie chicken. That's like my go-to thing when I do a Costco haul. Chicken and salad, that's for dinner. Moving back over here, I think I forgot to show you the jam. We were completely out of jam, so I got a big jar of the strawberry organic spread. I also picked up a big package of string cheese. And then these guys, they were out of our traditional pineapple sausage. So we picked up the smoked mozzarella with artichokes and garlic. That sounds really good. Now I already showed you the chicken, so I'll go ahead and move on to the raisins. We got two big packs of raisins. These were about $9 for two packs and these will last a long time. Over here I picked up a double pack of milk, some almond milk, that's for me, and my favorite Jimmy Dean Delight sandwiches. I used to eat these all the time and so I decided to give them a try again. Up here I picked up my husband's favorite granola. This is the coconut cashew butter variety. It is seriously so good. We also picked up some Kerrygold butter, some sour cream, some cottage cheese and the fig bars. Now I did have to get into these on my drive home to give one to Griffin to snack on, but these are really good. They're full of whole grains and they're actually on sale right now. Over here, I picked up another package of our favorite veggie bites. These are perfect for a quick lunch. I also got a big tub of the coconut oil. This lasts a long time. I haven't had to buy this in quite a while, which is good because it's kind of expensive. I think this was like $21. Over here, I picked up a big thing of mayo. And just like the coconut oil, I don't need to buy this all the time. This will last a long time. I also picked up three jars of marinara sauce, some raisin bread. We love this for breakfast in the morning. And then these guys. Have you seen these at your Costco? These are hazelnut chocolate filled French crepes. Now pardon my French because I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but the most important part is that these were only $4 and this will be a really fun thing to throw in school lunches. Now that is everything from Costco, so I'll go ahead and move over and show you what I got from Trader Joe's. First, I picked up this chicken fried rice. This is fully cooked and you just have to heat it up so it looks really fast and convenient. We also got the mandarin orange chicken, and then my favorite, the Noosa yogurt. I got one in pumpkin, coconut, and strawberry rhubarb. Now it's hard for me to say which one I like best because these are all really good. I also picked up some yogurt for the kids. We have the peaches and cream and the mango and cream. These are the perfect size to throw in school lunches. Over here I picked up two different kinds of soup. This is the cream of mushroom and this is the cream of chicken. Moving over here I got three different kinds of juice. We got the Concord grape juice, the blueberry juice, and the cranberry juice. Now these are all 100% juice, no added sugars, and they're really good. But what I like to do is add these to these. These are the sparkling waters. I love these from Trader Joe's. This one is grapefruit. This one is cranberry clementine. This one is pineapple. And then back here I have an island culotta. These are so good. Mixed with these and maybe some Red Bull if I'm being naughty. I love to make mocktails. Moving over here I picked up a package of the organic applesauce with wild berries. I like to have stuff like this on hand for school lunches because I don't always have fresh fruit when I want to and so this is good in a pinch. Over here I picked up a new item. These are called morning rounds and it's a breakfast bread and these are in the apple cinnamon flavor. So it's kind of like a flavored um, non bread. It's nice and squishy and I hope the kids will like them. And then over here, this guy looks super tasty. This is the tomato and olive focaccia. Now I know I'm not pronouncing that correct, but that's okay with me. This is definitely gonna go in some school lunches as well. Back over here, we have all of the boxed items. I picked up some strawberry cereal bars, some frosted maple and brown sugar shredded wheats. These are very good. We got some pumpkin spice scone mix, 
some gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. Those are for my husband. And then the banana bread mix. This mix is really good. And then something my kids haven't tried before, these woven wheat wafers. So basically like, what are those crackers called? Um, Triscuits, yes, they're like Triscuits, but the Trader Joe's version. Now the interesting thing about Trader Joe's, if you don't know, they don't have a lot of preservatives and artificial things in their food. So I like to find the Trader Joe's version if I can. Okay, so this is a cinnamon broom. It's definitely a seasonal item, and it's not for eating. It's just to help your room smell good. It's kind of like a potpourri type thing, um, but yeah, it smells really good. It smells like the holidays. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.